Next up, we work the night shift. It's late summer, and as happens on many lakes throughout the Midwest, there's a great night bite for those willing to stay up late. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Cotton Cordell Lures and Alumacraft Boats. Fish I don't like that for a start, boys. There you go. <laughs> huh. Do a little bit of night fishing tonight with <laughs> Nate Warner and Rick Luxinger from Warner Stock. It's kind of one of them deals, so I'll tell you what, down in the cities today, what? how, how hot is it? We heard, because we left <laughs> earlier, but we heard it was like 115 degree <laughs> heat index, so here we are at 78 degrees, I think, oh, tonight. Oh, man, beautiful. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a nice night, and if this is any indication, there we go, fish are going to bite. <laughs> Good 13 inch walleye to start the night. Beautiful. That was quick. That was fast. Get out of here, buddy. It's late August, and while the dog days of summer has slowed the daytime bite, the night bite is on fire. We're trolling Cotton Cordell Wally Divers in gold, black, perch, and fire tiger colors along the edge of a flat in 7 to 10 feet of water at 2 to 2.2 miles per hour. Winds are light with air temps in the mid 70s, making for a perfect evening on the water. Oh, we got a fish. Nope. Fish on. Yep. <laughs> we got it. Freaking deck, man. Might be a decent fish, huh? Yeah, it's a little bigger. In, Looked that. like he had a little pulp to him. I don't think it's a monster, but I think it's bigger. <laughs> couple things. I, I know we're going to get asked after this show about the lights on the end of the rods. There we go. Yep. Another keeper fish. Nice walleye here. I'll take care of him for you. Nice. Good fish. I know we're going to get asked about this, so let's talk about it real quick. The lights on the end of the rods. Real simple deal. What those are are Thill Night Bright batteries. They're the same battery lights that you put in your slip floats. And I'll tell you what, that's a slick way to do it. it because is. It's, it's hard because you, you wouldn't see these fish as they're all biting. Right. in this pitch black but you know what with that red light on the end you can see every single bite yeah. and i'll tell you what that'll make a big big difference for you because i have for sure drug little fish around <laughs> before gone to reel in to make the next pass and not known they were there the other thing it'll do is it'll tell you if you got a weed on there too because you'll see that little bit of bend and you can get that bait cleaned off so that you're not wasting a pass nice fish nice. another one for the box There he is. There's hey, fish. There's fish. That looks like a pretty good one, boys. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, this is gonna be a net fish. Oh, we got fish over here. Double. Double? We got a double. If this is a walleye, this is a big fish, boys. Now, I said that because you never know. There's, you're gonna get pike when you're doing some of this stuff too. You're gonna need a net, or are you okay? He's a good little guy. Okay. Rick, this is a big fish. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be a little bit. I'm still 35 feet old. Okay. This is a really good fish. This one doesn't even come. Okay. Let me slow this boat down a little bit. I don't want to take a chance on losing this one. There it is. Good walleye. Big walleye. That is a big one. Coming at you nice and slow. There we go. Got him. Oh, nice. <laughs> that thing tried to jump oh, out of the net. That's a good one, John. Look at that, boys. Dang. This is one of the cool things about night fishing right here. Right on. Is, I'm going to tell you, we've been watching these fish, and I've said to these guys, they're going to come up. And the fish I'm seeing on the graph, they're the bigger ones. I mean, you can yep. see them at the bottom of the break. And that pass, I said, right when we came back up, I said, guys, they're starting up. There's a whole bunch of them coming. I wanna show you what we're using here really quick. Cotton Cordell Wally Diver. That lure right there was one of the first lures ever designed specifically for walleyes. And fish like that one right there, I mean, they just flat out eat it. But this Wally Diver, what's so great about it is it's gonna dive to somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 feet. But here's the thing. You can fish it in this shallow stuff too, and it's just got a great action. It looks like a lot of different things that a walleye is going to eat. It could be a small perch, a shiner minnow, a little tulipy. That lure right there just caught us a big one. Oh, 
John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. There we go. Fish. Fish on? Yeah. Decent one. I'll bet you I can swing it. Yeah. We'll see. You know, hey, one thing I'll tell you that's really helping us trigger these fish, and this comes down to boat rigging, because I'm sitting there with that new Panther, or Trollmaster Pro Angler. Oh yeah, good one. Look at that one. That's a good one. I'm using that Pro Angler, it's brand new. And what we're doing is I'm constantly giving us little bursts of speed. And one of the things, especially in this night fishing, that I'll tell you I find all the time is, Triggering fish a lot of times just has to do with doing different stuff. If you just troll two miles an hour and you troll a straight line and you do it hour after hour, I do not believe you're gonna catch nearly as many fish as what you're gonna catch if you're doing what we're doing where I'm hitting that max throttle button. All I'm doing is hitting that button and you can hear that motor kick in and it just speeds me up a little bit and all it's doing is making that lure just dig a little harder and that fish right there, he sees it and he feels like it's gonna get away and he chases it down and, and that's where he ended up. <laughs> There's one, guys. Fish on? Yep, right on. That well, feels like a decent fish, I don't, boy, I don't know. Might need to scoop them. One of the things you'll see we're doing is, oh yeah, nice one. Look at that. Nice. Good fit. You know, down at Warner's, and it's no secret, for years I've been, I've run Humminbird Electronics. Look at that. I avoided getting my, my hand hooked <laughs> okay. by that Wally Diver. Look at that, that's a nice chunky fish. Look at that one. But one of the biggest keys to what we're doing tonight, catching these fish, is using that Lake Master mapping chip. And this is the brand new VX1, the VX chip. And what's great about this chip, you can do this different shading on there. And it's really cool because as I'm driving this piece of structure, I can see the different shades on the unit. And it's showing me where it's just gonna get a little shallower, or a little deeper. And that can make a big difference as you find those areas where the fish are, because you can pay attention to those shades and really keep your boat right in that area. The difference makes it a lot easier. A big fish on, big fish on. Good one? It feels good. Okay, get a double going. That's a good one, good John. eater there. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a keeper. Rick's going to throw one in. Nate's got a good one. It's going to be a good way to wrap it up. Yeah. Oh, this one's going good. This one's good. Good fish. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, nice. Good job, Nate. Way to go. Nice net look at job. that. Nice fish. Look at that. Look at that. Turn around and show that one to everybody. That one's going to find his way to the live well. And this one here, we're going to let go. I'm going to let Nate hold them and get them unhooked. You want to hand me up pliers over there? Absolutely. Here, I yeah. got another one That's if you right can't here. find it. I always keep a second one for this side of the boat. There we there go. There we go. Look at that nice fish, buddy. Nice. I'm going to give them to you. All right, I got them. Great way to wrap it up. It's a beauty. That is a beauty. <laughs> That's a good double. That's a good double. Throw one in the live well. Get a good one that's going to get let go. Hey, I'll tell you what, man, before we wrap it up for the evening, and it's been a great evening, but before we go put it back on the trailer and head for home, I want to have Nate tell you a little bit about Warner Stock and everything they have to offer, because what you're seeing here tonight, you can go out and do. I mean, these guys can set it all up. So we'll let Nate tell you a little bit about all of that. Well, John, we are a third generation family owned marine dealership that was founded in 1947 conveniently located in the St. Croix Valley, just a quick drive across the Stillwater Bridge from the Twin Cities metro area. We carry a variety of aluminum fiberglass boat and pontoon brands, including Alumacraft, as well as a variety of outboard power, including Yamaha, Suzuki Merc, and Honda. When you walk through our front door at Warner's Dock, you will quickly realize that this is the place to find that perfect fit for your family's boating needs. We offer new and used boat sales, dock and lift sales, service, accessories, and fall winterization along with shrink wrap and storage services. At Warner's Dock, we can handle your boating needs from beginning to end. They really do do it all at Warner's Dock. Hey, stop in and see them in New Richmond, Wisconsin, or check them out at warnersdock.com. And hey, 
Check back in next week. We're going to have another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning for John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Formula Propeller. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.